everyone, this is Elizabeth with Scott Leroy Marketing. In this tip video, I'm going to show you how to create and schedule a holiday email campaign in Command. So first we're going to Command, which is agent.kw.com. Next, enter your username, which is not case sensitive. Next, enter your password and hit enter. Today I'm using Google Chrome Incognito, but you can use Firefox as well. While you're still learning the name of the applets, you can click the red square with the white KW at the very top left of the screen to expand the name of the applets. And we're going to find designs, which is the third from the bottom, the paintbrush in a square, and click that applet. Your screen may look a little different than mine. I have created some designs in the past. If you're new to Keller Williams, you may not have created anything yet, so your screen may be blank, but that's okay. And if you haven't visited Designs recently, you'll see that it has changed a little bit. Uh, the user interface has been updated. You can now sort by all types, such as email, social, print, and video, and sort by oldest to newest or newest to oldest. But today we're going to click Create Design select email and click continue. You'll see you're defaulted to the KWRI templates and you'll see as of today, July 15th, there are 72 available for you to choose from. Now these are in order from newest to oldest, so you'll see some newsletters, a little bit about tax day, although I wouldn't consider that a holiday by any means, uh, chill your bills, and then once you scroll down you'll see the load more button where you can click to load more. There's someone specific to luxury, Happy Spring, Happy Holidays, Just Listed, Open House, Just Sold, Work With Me, etc. So for this tip video, I'm going to use the Happy New Year. And you'll see here are some of the holiday ones. Happy Thanksgiving, Valentine's, New Year, Holidays, Spring. But I'm going to select the Happy New Year. And once I click, it'll be outlined in blue. Then I'll click Next. And then you'll be taken to the email editor. So we always suggest renaming the design first. So I'm going to rename this. And tack on the date there and then click anywhere in the white space to apply that and you'll see the green updated banner. You'll see I can preview what it'll look like on a desktop computer, on a tablet, and on a mobile device. So you'll want to be conscious and use these to make sure your design is looking good across all devices. Next, you'll also see you can toggle between the viewing the components, which is just this screen, and the preview mode. And this will show you all of the merge fields populating correctly. And then to X out of that, you would click the X in the top right corner. There is also undo and redo. And then on the right hand side is all of your content. So 
So I chose the Happy New Year because I rather like this design. It's fairly simple. It's got my market center up top, a simple image, and then a simple letter. So if you had other things like, you know, a Happy Valentine's Day, Happy St. Patrick's Day, Happy Easter, um, Happy Fourth of July, any sort of picture, you can put it here. And with that, you would simply click to select, and you'll see it's then outlined in blue, showing that we have it selected. And you'll also see this little tab pop up with a pencil and a trash can. We're going to click the pencil to edit, and you'll see our widgets on the right, changes to the editor. Here you can see the word replace, so you're just going to click that, and then a little embedded pop-up will show you my images, listing images, and add images. So for this holiday piece, I'm going to click add images and then click to browse. And then I'm going to choose my image here that I just downloaded. And once that's in this pop-up, you want to click to select and click replace. Now, although not required, we do highly suggest popping in some alternative text. This is just supposed to be a short description that displays when subscribers or clients or consumers, whoever's receiving this email, cannot access an image. So, for instance, if you've ever seen the banner across an email that says, images are hidden for your safety, click here to view images. The alternative text would then be displayed so that they know it's nothing unsafe. It's just going to be a picture of a flag. So just a so, little short description there. This is also where you can link this image to a landing page, a merge tag, or even a web address. So if you wanted to have the consumer click on this image, and then be directed to, let's say, your website. You can choose Merge Tag and Website, or even just pop in your web address here. Next, you'll have the width and height, border and position. So if you wanted to edit any of that, you could. And once your editing is complete, you want to click Done at the top of the page. Still in this right-hand section, but at the top left of that section. And as soon as you do that, the widgets come back and your picture is replaced. Next, you'll want to enter the text in the same way. You want to click to select and make sure that it's outlined in blue. You'll click the pencil in the little tab that pops up at the top right of the section. And you'll just edit the text. I don't have anything fancy to say here, but if you wanted to include an entire letter about, you know, what Labor Day means to you, Happy Labor Day. Um, you know, if you wanted to leave the, I'd love to discuss some of the trends, you could. You can change the font, the size, all of the formatting underneath. You can even add in merge fields. So let's say I want to add in my mobile phone and my office phone, add my email, you can do so like so. And again, once you're done editing the text, you would just click done. See the widgets come back and see the text be replaced. Feel free to edit the rest of the email as you see fit. It's just gonna do the same thing. You wanna click to select hit the pencil to edit. Just don't forget to click that done 
to apply your changes. And all of the places where you see the bar asterisk something asterisk bar, that's a merge field. So that information is going to come over from your marketing profile within command. So that all looks good to me. All right, and let's preview by clicking this eye icon again. My Market Center logo came over, picture, text. Looks good to me. If you are seeing a broken image here on the right side of the footer, that just means you do not have a team logo uploaded. So you'll want to go to your marketing profile and upload one. All right, perfect. So now you can also, under the options menu, here's where you can preview again. You can send a test email. We highly suggest doing this to make sure that the formatting and everything looks up to your standards before sending to your database. You can also download the template. But for now, I like all of this and pretend I've already sent the test email. I'm going to click Save and Exit. You'll be directed back to your designs and you'll see the most recently updated is here at the top left. So now on to the second portion of this tip video, how to schedule that holiday email campaign. You'll want to go over to campaigns. Again, while you're still learning the name of the applets, you can click the red square with the white KW to expand the names. Campaigns is about halfway down. It's the icon of the bullhorn. Once you click that, you'll be brought to the campaigns dashboard. We're simply going to click create campaign in the top right and select email. First, we're going to enter a campaign name. which in theory would match my design, but I named my design Happy New Year because that was the template, but I didn't end up going that way. Select your goal. These are just for reporting by Keller Williams, so you can select whichever you want. If none of them uh, fits 100%, that's okay. You can always choose other. Select where you would like your campaign to run. I'm going to stick with command email today because I have not used up my 5,000 emails this month. And click create. And now we're just going to go along and fill in all of the fields and then we can schedule and send. So you can change the goal again if you wish by selecting this little drop down arrow. You can change the campaign name. The account will be grayed out. This is using the command email from your settings. So if you wish to change that, you can. You can just go to your profile image at the top right and click settings. Step three is to choose your recipient list. You can click to drop down. You can also type to search. You can also create a list. I'm going to name this actually family and I'm going to search by Tags, select all, confirm, got my list. Now if I wanted to edit my list, I can by clicking edit. And let's say I wanted to add 
friends. Select all, confirm. Step four, send from. My name's perfect. My email address is perfect. If I needed to edit, I could. If I needed to go into my settings to edit this, you can do so. Step five is the subject. So this is what's going to be sent to your clients. So make sure it's appropriate that way. Step six, select the design. So I'm going to select my most recent design here. Click to select. Yep, this is it. Save and exit. And you'll see it's applied here and it's previewing here on the right now. Yep, still looks good. And you'll see again under this drop down in the top right, under actions, you can preview the email. and send a test email. Again, we highly suggest sending a test email. Just to make sure that that's going to look the way you want it to. Then last but not least, you can save draft schedule or send immediately. So save draft, of course, is going to prompt you. Are you sure you want to save? Save and exit. If you needed to go back in, you would click the three dots on the far right and click edit. Schedule will prompt you to Choose the date and time that you want it to be sent. You want to at least choose two hours from now and at most 12 months from now. So theoretically, you could go in and create all 12 months worth of holiday email campaigns and schedule them for the entire year. You can also edit them up to two hours before their scheduled date and time. So let's say for, you know, the Christmas one, we went ahead and created and scheduled it, but we wanted to add our most recent just solds. So day of, you can go in and add that before it sends out. So I'm just going to choose the day. and the time and apply. You may need to zoom out in order to see that very bottom. You can do that by pressing and holding control on your keyboard and using your scrolly ball on your mouse, or you can click the three dots in the top right corner and using the minus and plus to zoom out and in. Last but not least, you would click schedule. You'll see the green banner. Good, good, good. Scheduled. And again, if you needed to edit, you would click the three dots on the right to edit. Here's where you can also duplicate if you wanted to use the same template for multiple holidays. Or once it's running and published, you can go in and see what all settings you did on this one and you can also cancel. If you have any questions about this or anything else, give us a shout, send us an email, and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.